Hello and good day. This is just a quick glimpse episode of the shed where I get shanked, stabbed, I think to death. So that place is right. Year was 1998. There were two guys drinking in a bar late, very late at night. Um, after coming out of the bar, they decided to take a taxi and went to the guy's house who owned the house. And this other guy was a painter who was renting the upstairs of the house. So, so there weren't any hatred between these fellows, but the painter who was renting the place haven't pa paid many rents and few loans also were unpaid. So the owner of the house was sitting in the kitchen and the other guy stand up and went there and took a knife which was 14 centimeters long that's 5.5 inches and without a warning hit the guy the owner to the neck knife went through the neck and came out from the other side just barely missing the artery artery so the owner took the knife out of his neck and pressed the wound with his right hand he quickly ran to the phone and called help and help came quickly and he went to the hospital with the amb ambulance. There they treat the wound successfully but leaving damages to the neck and shoulder. But like I said, the guy was lucky, just barely missing the artery. Yes, I don't know how to say that word. But after coming after three, four days spending in the hospital, he came back to the house. The drinking didn't stop. At some point, the wife left him. He was alone in the house. He couldn't do the snow work, other yard work, because of the pain of the shoulder and the neck. Also, the owner saw every night nightmares of what happened, living the terror again and again. Locked. Locked. Locked and locked. A lot of pine cones. Yeah, this was the place where the guy got stabbed. The house didn't even have a bathroom inside. He had had outhouse where he had to go every time, and the moving was difficult. And not long from that, he had to leave his home. He couldn't live there by his own anymore. He couldn't take care of him anymore. So he had to go to the nursing home. The reason why the guy hit, hit the, the other one with a knife He told the police that he couldn't remember 
why why he did that. But ye just a year ago he did similar similar thing when he was drunk, putting the knife on the neck of the owner, probably just playing around. Or was he? He got only three years jail. And the owner of the house got lifelong pains. He had to pay a lot of money to that guy from the cosmetic in, uh, and pain and suffering. Uh, ambulance costs, doctor costs, costs much, very much, but not nearly enough what the man had to suffer his whole, whole life. This house was already in bad shape when he lived there. He was even trying to fix it up with some urethane, which is really cheap solution. What is that? GoPro 0 0.5? No. But the worst one. Not long after the guy had to lead to the nursing home, not long after the water started to pour in from the roof to the upstairs and from the upstairs it rotted the supporting planks and upstairs crashed down which you will see in this video very soon The rent place crashed down. Kind of a sy symbolic thing to happen. Crashed down on the owner's living room or the kitchen. Or which, which was it? I cannot remember. But symbolic? Anyway. The town was was already stalking this place, this land, and most likely that g guy wouldn't get a new rent contract to this land because the town wants this land. So there really isn't a happy ending in this situation. The criminal got just a little jail time and payments which he probably pay his whole life. His life would, could, will not be easy. Can't be easy with those kind of debts. But the worst side of this case, of course, got the owner who got the knife in the neck, had had to go to the nursing home and had, has to live with the pain and with the nightmares and can't go back to his own home, which also crashed down. This was his home. This was his life. And now it's junk, derelict, rotten, target of our urban exploration. Empty home. <clears throat> Upstairs. But the roof might be dangerous. Look. 
Crawford bar, some black liquor, or what do you call it? So, so working area, storage area. Hmm, what for? I do not know. This would be other. But the stairs, they are not accessible. You can you have to go to upstairs from the outside and that's locked. Darn! That's bad. Too bad. Music players and VHS players. Cal calculator, working with sun power, I think. Upstairs. <laughs> the fridge looks very, very abandoned. I mean, I mean, very eighties. I think. Does the lighter still works? Nope. We, we used to have these boxes with these food recipes and how to make them. It was very much like, I think, 90s, 80s. There's a knife in a place that got someone that's done. The floor has sinking. Purse. Microwave. Change to the I think the back uh, handbag took crackers all kind of that stuff and a lamp so there's no way upstairs but it's so much collapsed anyways, so oh, there's a chance. This is rotten, collapsed. You can see all the way upstairs rooms. I don't know how up I can reach. 
Can you see anything? Some little wine bottles there on the shelf and the mirror and those big fans with some scenery in it. I can't remember what time it was used. Can you remember those? Uh, I see. I don't know if I got the history, anything history about this place in this episode, but you know if you watch this long. Okay, we will see you at the next episode. Okay, thumb up and bye bye.